Now, I'm, I'm bursting to get back to talking about Barcelona because it was absolutely massive this week. What was this experience for you? Let's do the timeline in terms of just going to the new camp, walking out, training there and then starting the match. How did that, how did that make you feel being there and playing in that match? Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing, first of all, obviously, the first leg um, and how well that went. Yeah. Um, I think we knew how much possession they was going to have on the night. Um, but like I said before, I think the plan, um, the tactics that we had worked extremely well. Um, but going over there was amazing. Another, uh, the, the lads had told me about the stadium, how big the pitch was and things like that. But actually getting there, I think I went there when I was, must have been about 10 years old on a family holiday, actually went there to see it. But Brilliant. to go back and actually play at that stadium was although it'll be a, a short period, was something special, yeah. Now, I've read quotes from you talk about what it was like to watch that match because you were in the dressing room, but we spoke to someone who was alongside you and they had quite a tough time being with you. It's Mick Roberts, the kit man, so have a little listen to his version of events. <laughs> Obviously, Gaz had had to come off because uh, they had a, a problem with his back of his uh, leg, but uh, he's possibly the worst person to be in a dressing room with in a big game because he paced up and down non-stop with this ice pack on his back. In the end, I had to go and uh, sit in a corner of the dressing room so I couldn't see him. You know, having a player in there is difficult enough, but one that obviously was pacing up and down and kicking everything that was sort of on the floor, it was, uh, it was a nightmare. Were you really a nightmare? Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. I, I, for some reason, I was four times more nervous watching the game or waiting for the result than actually starting the match because you sort of feel in control a little bit when you're playing. Yeah, that's true. Um, when you're watching it, there was no control and I wanted to win so bad I was just, I didn't know what to do. Like I said, I must have been driving him mad. I said to him at one stage, well, what, what can I do now? Um, so he said, get a shower. So I went in the shower for about 25 minutes while the game was on. <laughs> oh my God. Um, was yeah, there it was a, TV, a horrible feeling. Was there TV in the change room or was it just outside? Could you it was just look? outside and I kept going out to see it and then coming back in and then like waiting for five minutes to go and then going back out. And then um, I think it was 72 minutes I went out and I actually watched from there to the end um, with, with Robbo and, and a few of the others. JT was there as well. Um, and we just watched it and... Yeah, the celebrations at the end was, was amazing in the tunnel as well. There must have been a bit of a delay. If you're watching it on the TV, you must have been able to hear what was going on in the stands. Anyway, it must have been torture. That's what I mean. That's why I felt in control when, in a way when I was playing. Yeah. When I weren't playing, you yeah. could just hear the noises and, you know, like every cheer was coming through. You can imagine 90,000 yeah. people there in the changing room. Every noise you're thinking, have they scored? Have we scored? What's happened there? Mm. It, was, mm. <laughs> it was horrible watching. Uh, it was horrible watching. Mm.